What up, Melvin7 here. Pacific Rim Tour and European Tour 2 are out, the SBCs. Of course, the Pacific Rim one is the easy one, and then the European Tour is a bit harder and you get better rewards. So you need four Australian players and two leagues for this. So I've got the Australian League players, the four, and then I've went with the Atristi League, the Irish League, for the rest of the players. Very easy, silver players pack there. Uh, we move over to Chile. Now, you only need five Chilean players, but because I had them in my club, I've literally used a full Chilean squad. You need a minimum of three leagues, so I've got La Liga in there, obviously the Chilean league, and uh, I'm not sure what the other one is. The Swedish league, we've got that centre back there. You need a 71 rated team, you get a gold pack for that, so don't go paying over the odds for those players. But this one's the cheapest one out of the lot. Again, you get a silver pack. You need seven Japanese players. I've got 11 of them and uh, 58 rated. That's extremely easy. You can just use a bunch of bronzes from the J League. And uh, we move on to the final one in this set and that is Korea Republic. Again, I've used uh, nine Korean players. You only need six. Uh, you do need three leagues, so what I've done, uh, used all the Korean league players, and then I've got two different leagues, uh, random players there. We've got Sean Wright Phillips, who is uh, um, untradeable for me, as is this silver guy, Scrab, from um, the Finnish league, I think. But anyway, we're going to submit that, you get an old players pack, and for completing it, you get a premium Electrum pack, I think. Yeah. Premium Electrum players pack, so we move on to the good packs and the harder ones. Right, we've got England for the European Tour. Uh, you need five England players, maximum of uh, players from the same league, four, five nationalities, and an 80 rated team, five rares minimum. So what I've done, I've sectioned off the English player, I've got a championship right back, and then I've got four Premier League English players sectioning him off to get perfect chemistry on the right hand side. Then we move over and we've got La Liga, we've got three Sevilla players to give strong uh, chemistry there. And then uh, we've, we go to uh, League One where we've got Nasri linking with uh, Kazawa and then a couple of PSG players in Krakowiak and Marquinhos. Very, very easy there and uh, if you follow that formula it should be fairly cheap. Next one we've got is Germany. This one's quite expensive, uh, particularly Schweinsteiger, because you need a certain amount of leagues and there's only a certain amount of German players in different leagues. They go for a lot, so I've had to pay 9.4 for the Chicago Fire version of uh, Schweinsteiger and I had to pay 5k for this Tasky guy in the Russian league because you need 8 German players minimum, minimum of 6 leagues and uh, yeah, you need one other player that isn't German at least that um because you need two nationalities and you need 11 clubs as well so uh, i've got seamus coleman there from the premier league leroy sane and huth to section him off and then the rest of them we've got uh, different leagues here we've got to uh we've got this ajax player who probably goes for a lot um but i had him in the club so yeah pretty easy just quite expensive with that one next one we've got is france the second last one uh, this one, I think this is the best formula you could possibly do, to be honest. Uh, what I've done, because you need eight French players exactly, and then um, you need three nationalities, so two of the other players have to be the same nationality. So I've went with two Brazilians, but you can also only have two players from the same league. So what I've done, I've got a strong link there from the Bundesliga with Entep and Rodriguez being one of the other nationalities. Then over on the other side, we've got Fakir, and then we've got um, Rafael, so a, a Brazilian, and then Rami and Diego Alves to get the, the links in. Then the rest of them, you just need to make sure that you don't use players uh, from the same league more than two. So we've got Gignac and um, Perbet up top. Then we've got Grenier. Yeah, I think. And then uh, Schneidlin and Sacco to complete it. You need an 81 rated team, so you are going to have to use some high rated players. But luckily, there's no uh, Team of the Week SBCs out, so they're not expensive. This one is probably the easiest and the cheapest, and you only get a 15k pack for this. Six Russian League players, which is quite easy. You just get the Russian League players in the Russian League. And then uh, Leagues 2. So on the other side, I've went with Eredivisie since that isn't used at the minute and that's really cheap. But the rest of the players, simple. You need 100 chemistry, however, though. So try and get some strong links in there. And you do need 11 different clubs. So uh, you may require loyalty on a, a player or two. But we get a 50k pack for completing the entire set. So we're going to open those packs, hope for the best. Uh, of course, there's eight walkout informs in packs right now. Hopefully I can get at least one of them. We'll open the silver packs. I'm just going to skip through those because silver packs, I mean, you're really going to get anything good. Um, unless 
we get, I don't know if the League One centre-backs still even go for anything. Uh, as in the Toulouse defenders, I think, at one point went for a lot. But I don't think they do now. So I'm just going to store everything. Uh, if there's any Germans in a different league, then I'm definitely going to be listing those. If I pack a Schweinsteiger, then that's pretty much a 10k player right now. Right, silver pack. That's the last of the silver packs, at least. We do get a German silver there. He might go for a bit, but we'll just discard the rest. At least the servers aren't slow like they have been recently. 5k pack, no walkout. Just going to skip it because it doesn't really matter what it is. It's not even rare, so yeah. Send all that. Of course, it's a 50k pack where I'm hoping we get something big. Uh, we've got this premium Electrum players pack. We'll open that now. Uh, to be honest, if you were going to do this, I would recommend you save your packs for Team of the Season because that should be within the next two weeks, uh, at least the most consistent, if they uh, follow the same formula as they have in previous FIFAs. So I would definitely save these packs so you've got a chance of uh, packing blue cards instead of doing it now, even though there's a really good team of the week, just because there's not a lot else, really. Just the normal shit. Uh, oh no, Gnabry plays in uh, in the Bundesliga anyway. Those Germans don't go for a lot. Right, we've got a 15k pack now. No walkout, really, really quick, so it's it's going to be shit. Usually when the pack opens instantly, it's, it's crap. Um... And that's proved the case this time. <sighs> it's been ages. It's been absolutely ages since I've got anything good from a marquee matchups. The 45k pack, of course, gives me nothing. Because it's a 45k pack. The worst pack for value if you're buying it with coins. If FIFA points value, it's not actually that bad. But, uh, nah, he won't go for a lot. There's a lot of La Liga French centre-backs. Right, we've got... I've opened the 50k pack first, you fucking spacker, but we've got a few high rated cards there, Socrates 85, but no walkout, no special card unfortunately, I meant to open this pack last, but uh, it doesn't seem to matter anyway, because that was pretty gob, anyway we've got 35k pack to end it off, so uh, let's see if we can end it with something big, of course we can't, of course we can't, an absolute disappointment yet again, for an SBC, which is uh, it's becoming a pretty common theme there. We get a free silver pack, so I'll open that. And uh, yeah, we'll end this video off. But I, I can't remember the last time I actually got something really good in an SBC. Even the guaranteed inform pack gave me one of the worst ones of the week. So uh, yeah, all I can do is hope for better in the future. Hopefully you got better though. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.